I'm giving you a choice. Either put on these glasses or start eating that trash can. Not this year. Okay. Welcome to Series Pulse, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 best movies directed by John Carpenter. We hope you'll enjoy this list. Please let us know your favorites in the comments and subscribe if you don't want to miss more fun videos like this. I don't think we have too much to worry about. The lid on that thing won't open. Look, it's incredibly elaborate. Right here, there's a, there's a weird locking mechanism. Number 10, In the Mouth of Madness. He became convinced his writing was real, not fiction. Then the work stopped coming. I need to know if he's alive or dead, and I need that book. In the Mouth of Madness is a 1994 supernatural horror film directed by John Carpenter. The film stars Sam Neill, Julie Carmen, and Jurgen Prochnow. When hack horror writer Sutter Kane vanishes, all hell breaks loose, literally. Author Kane appears to have a talent for description that puts his nasty, creepy crawlies to life. Insurance investigator John Trent is assigned to investigate Kane's mysterious disappearance and ends up at Hobbs End, a sleepy little East Coast town. Trent's issues don't stop with the fact that this town is a figment of Kane's sick mind. She's one of our best editors. Since she joined the firm, she's been handling Sutter Kane exclusively. Sutter Kane. Isn't he the guy that writes that horror crap? Number 9. Dark Star. Doolittle, I do have a malfunction on this readout, but I can't pinpoint it exactly. Don't worry about it. We'll find out what it is when it goes bad. Directed and produced by John Carpenter in his feature directorial debut, Dark Star is a 1974 science fiction comedy film starring Dan O'Bannon, Brian Norrell, Cal Cunningham, and Dre Payich. This film follows the exploits of the crew of the Dark Star, an intergalactic space cruiser tasked with destroying planets with undesirable life forms in order to make the universe safer for humanity. Their job is mostly boring. They travel through space eternally, listening to rock music, or sitting in a large observation dome to gaze at the passing stars. This is Sergeant Penback calling bomb number 20. You read me, bomb? Bomb number 20 to Sergeant Pinback. Roger, I read you. Continue. Number 8. The Fog. I think it's best we call it a night here. Another five or ten minutes, everyone will have seen the statue. All right. But let's get him through as quickly as we can. The Fog is a 1980 supernatural horror film directed by John Carpenter. The film stars Adrian Barbeau, Jamie Lee Curtis, Tom Atkins, Janet Lee, and Hal Holbrook. In this film, strange things start to happen as a little coastal town in California prepares to celebrate its 100th anniversary. Reverend Malone finds a terrible secret about the town's origins. Radio broadcaster Stevie witnesses a supernatural fire, and wanderer Elizabeth discovers the disfigured corpse of a fisherman. Then, a weird shimmering fog settles over the community and more people begin to die. Salt water. She was clean two nights ago. I checked her out myself and now it's as if she's been turned over in the water. Number seven, Starman. You better get dressed. We are coming to Winslow. I hope to God we're on the right train. I don't know, that looks awful big for Winslow, Arizona. Starman is a 1984 science fiction romantic drama film directed by John Carpenter and stars Jeff Bridges and Karen Allen. A space traveler attempts to contact humanity after responding to a NASA message intended for aliens, but his ship is grounded by an American missile. The so-called Starman scrambles into the body of a late Wisconsinite and kidnaps the deceased man's wife, Jenny. Starman and Jenny fly to Arizona to meet up with a spaceship from his home planet at a designated location. While being pursued by military personnel, he forms a close relationship with Jenny. Find giant jackpot. <laughs> giant jackpot is a lot of money. Money? Geekus, bread, an arm and a leg. Where'd you get that? Number six, big trouble in little China. You make one move. John Carpenter's Big Trouble in Little China is a 1986 fantasy action comedy film starring Kurt Russell, Kim Cattrall, Dennis Dunn, and James Hong. Jack Burton, a tough guy truck driver, becomes embroiled in a strange battle in and beneath San Francisco's Chinatown. An ancient Chinese prince and a Chinatown criminal boss have kidnapped a beautiful green-eyed woman who is Jack's best friend's fiance. Jack must assist his friend in rescuing the girl before the villainous Lo Pan uses her to remove the ancient curse that has rendered him a fleshless and eternal ghost. You mean like you've got on Gracie? Are you kidding? I just want to get my truck back. Oh yeah, what do I know? She's not even your type, all brains. <sighs> Number five, Escape from New York. You can't read and drive at the same time. You need us. You shouldn't have double-crossed me again, brain. Come on, let's go. 
Well, they sort it off. The tape? Gone. I don't know where. Co-written, co-scored, and directed by John Carpenter, Escape from New York is a 1981 sci-fi action film starring Kurt Russell, Lee Van Cleef, Ernest Borgenine, Donald Pleasence, and Adrian Barbeau. In 1997, the United States and the Soviet Union are nearing the end of a major war, and the whole island of Manhattan has been turned into a massive high-security prison. When Air Force One is seized and crashes into the island, a gang of inmates kidnaps the president. Snake Plissken, an ex-Special Forces soldier turned convict, is hired to bring back the president in return for his freedom. The president is dead. You got that? Somebody's had him for dinner. Listen, if you get back in that glider, I'll shoot you down. You climb out, I'll burn you off the wall. Number four, they live. I got a job now, and I plan on keeping it. I'm walking a white line all the time. I don't bother nobody. Nobody bothers me. You better start doing the same. They Live is a 1988 sci-fi action film written and directed by John Carpenter, starring Rowdy Roddy Piper, Keith David, and Meg Foster. A traveler without a life purpose finds a pair of sunglasses capable of revealing the truth about the world. As he travels the streets of Los Angeles, he sees that both the government and the media are full of subliminal messages designed to keep the public under control, and that the majority of the rich and powerful are skull-faced aliens intent on global dominance. With this frightening revelation, he battles to rescue mankind from mind-controlling aliens. I'm trying to save you and your family's life. You couldn't even save your own! <laughs> Number three, Assault on Precinct 13. I'm on my way to Sonora with three prisoners. Uh, about a half an hour ago, one of them got pretty sick. Uh, I think it's serious. What is it? Well, I don't know, but I'd like to put them in your holding tanks. Written, scored, and directed by John Carpenter, Assault on Precinct 13 is a 1976 action thriller film starring Austin Stoker, Darwin Jostin, and Lori Zimmer. When the LAPD murders several members of the South Central gang Street Thunder, the remaining members seek vengeance through a deadly battle against officers and people in general. Lieutenant Ethan Bishop, in charge of a skeleton staff at the regional and soon-to-be-closed police station, gets caught in the crossfire. As the gang members move in, Bishop strikes an unexpected alliance with a group of inmates to save the station and the lives of everyone inside. This goddamn thing's got three shots left in it. Wilson? Three rounds. Lee? Two shots. If there's any spare ammunition around here, I don't know where it is. Number two, The Thing. It says here only eight weeks. Well, that's not long enough for guys to go bunkers. Bullshit, Bonnie. Five minutes is enough to put a man over down here. Damn straight. I mean, look at Pong. The Thing is a 1982 sci-fi horror film directed by John Carpenter and stars Kurt Russell. A helicopter shooting at a sled dog disturbs a team of American research scientists at their base camp in remote Antarctica. When they take in the dog, it viciously attacks both humans and animals in the camp, and they realize that the beast can take on the appearance of its victims. Leading the crew is a skilled helicopter pilot and the camp doctor in a desperate, gruesome struggle against the nasty beast before it takes them out one by one. I don't know. Thousands of years ago, it crashed and this thing gets thrown out or crawls out and it ends up freezing in the ice. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Body bags. Shrab. Exactly. You see, I want something that is very um, exciting. Yes. Bold. Yes. Sexy. Yes, yes. Prince of Darkness. A stupid lie. We were salesmen. That's all we sold our product to those who didn't have it. Christine. She just happens to be the most beautiful girl in the whole school. Well, that's not what you think. <laughs> no, I, I really respect her mind. And Number one, Halloween. Scared. Well, why are you sitting here with all the lights off? I don't know. Well, come on, get your coat. We're going to pick up Pa. I don't want to. Halloween is a 1978 independent slasher film directed and scored by John Carpenter. The film stars Donald Pleasance and Jamie Lee Curtis in her feature film debut. Six-year-old Michael Myers savagely kills his 17-year-old sister, Judith, on a chilly Halloween night in 1963. He was convicted and sentenced to 15 years in prison. However, on October 30th, 1978, while being transported for a court hearing, a 21-year-old Michael Myers steals a car and flees Smith's Grove. He leaves and goes back to his sleepy hometown of Haddonfield, Illinois, where he searches for new victims. I'm gonna take a little walk. Oh, that's the boogeyman. I'm scared. There's nothing to be scared of. Are you sure? How? Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments below.